In a few hours, we'll learn the findings of a federal investigation into the shooting death of Jamar Clark. Minneapolis police shot and killed the 24-year-old last November during a struggle. Paramedics said Clark was interfering with their efforts to treat an assault victim, so they called the police. Soon after, officers Mark Ringenberg and Dustin Swarzy arrived. Clark was shot. It was just about a minute in between them arriving and the shooting. Ashley Roberts joins us from FBI Minneapolis. That's in Brooklyn Center. She has more on today's announcement. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Jason. The U.S. Attorney's Office and FBI have made a decision as to whether officers intentionally violated Clark's civil rights through excessive force. That announcement will be made later this morning at 11 o'clock. In the meantime, let's take a look back at the case. It dates back to November 15, 2015, on the city's north side. The Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension said 24 year old Jamar Clark refused orders from police to take his hands out of his pockets after they arrived on the scene. The BCA said officers tried to put him in handcuffs, but he resisted. They say Officer Ringenberg got a Clark to the ground, but Ringenberg ended up on his back on top of Clark, and there was a struggle. Ringenberg says he felt Clark's hand on his police gun, and that's when Officer Schwartzy shot Clark. In March, Hennepin County Attorney Mike Freeman announced the officers would not face criminal charges in Clark's death. Despite witness accounts that claimed Clark was handcuffed at the time of the shooting, Freeman said Clark's wrists did not show any bruising that could have resulted from being restrained. Freeman also said Clark's DNA was on Ringenberg's gun. Ahead of this morning's announcement, Fred Bruno, the attorney representing Officer Schwartz, he said that he doesn't know the results, of course, of the investigation, but believes his client will be cleared of any wrongdoing. Doing. The police union has also said the same. Ashley, we know the police department is doing their own internal investigation into the shooting. What do we know about that? Well, Jason, once the federal findings are released, we expect much of the same with the Minneapolis Police Department and its internal investigation. Chief Janae Harcho has said that investigation will examine if police followed proper protocol the night Clark was shot. Okay, Ashley, thank you. WCCO, of course, will have continuing coverage. A team of reporters working this today. We'll have that for you on air and online. All of the developments today in the Jamar Clark shooting.